In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to um, implement pagination in C Sharp in SP.NET Core project, Web API project. So let me open my Visual Studio. Let me open my Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. And we will use the boilerplate um, project that we're given, Web API project that we create. We're going to create it <clears throat> to, to um, learn how to paginate our data. So pagination is what you use when you are exposing um, large data sets either from your database. So in this tutorial, I'm actually I'll just use the the, norm, use the the normal weather forecast controller, forecast controller, weather forecast. I mean, yeah, a visual, yeah, a visual studio, pagination studio, pagination demo, pagination demo. Yeah, I want to add you to demo. Pagination YouTube demo. So, so we will learn how to implement pagination in a an in a ASP.NET Core Web API. So. Click create. Okay, um, first I'd like to run this project so that you see the data we're going to be working with is the data that you are given by this webinar forecast controller that comes with your boilerplate um, REST API project. Yeah, actually. So um, let's run it and see what it looks like. And then we will implement pagination for it. So this guy right here, we're going to be implementing pagination. Let's see how it looks inside Postman. Looks in Postman. So it's sent. And OK. OK, there are many. So let's say we want to paginate this um, data now. So, so post. Um, what we need, pagination shows that um, we have a, a sort of parameter that can be passed, like say, um, see, like say, fetch data, fetch data slash um, limit, you know, something like this. Limit equals to two. Um, excuse me. Limit equals to Limit equals to two and and offset equals to equals to two and so on like that or page or page or or per page per page equals to um, ten per page and then you have the current page current page equals to equals to one so so this is what pagination means so so to to implement to implement this we need this we need um let's create a models folder just to keep things clean so create a models folder where we'll create a pagination filter class models okay model is okay so add a new class let's call it and let's call it um Paginator. Let's say paginator. Paginator. Okay. Paginator. And then just hit add. And then okay. So pagination with paginator we take um two parameters. Let's say um so let's define them here. So two properties, public int uh, per page. Okay.
the page and the other guys in the current page. Okay, so now we have them. So we'll now declare a constructor. Um, let's first declare an empty no add constructor. So this dot per page. Let's set it to a default. If no value was given in the parameter or anywhere, we should we should pay it to be two per page, and and then and then um, excuse me. Current page should be page one. If nothing was given, so it will always default to this. If nothing was provided, Let, uh, let's create constructor with arguments now. So in the page current page current page and then we set this to this dot a page equals to now we want to set some rules now um per page should not be we don't want per page to be more than um let's say two per page let's say okay we don't want it to be more than five per page so i uh, will use a ternary operator here so per page anytime is trying to be greater than five per page then we should set it to five but if not it should just be its original value okay so we do the same for current page current page is like the current page I am right now. So current page, we want to make sure it cannot be less than one. It can be we can have a page zero or page minus one. So so we set current page, we use a ternary also. When it's trying to be less than one, we should make it one, but else it should just be its original value. Okay, so set. So we have set that now. Now all we need to do is to come to our controller. Um, where's that controller? Okay, our weather forecast controller, and here where is returning this. So before this to array method, we just need to add a skip, a skip function here. So let's just say dot skip. Okay, um, before that, before that, let's declare a query parameter. So we say from query. And it's a type of our, it's a type of our paginator, the paginator class we just defined now. Paginator, this guy, this guy, paginator class, paginator, let's call it filter, or page filter, or anything you want to call it. So bring in the namespace for model. Okay, and then let's declare a filter object here. Uh, excuse me. The filter or, or page filter. Um, I didn't write this as filter. It's filter. Page filter or paginator. Paginator will work well. Paginator equals to a new instance of paginator class or paginator class. Okay, and the values it takes are whatever is passed in the query parameter. So filter dot per page and filter dot current page. Nice. So this guy is like our valid paginator, valid filter. So it ensures that our pagination is valid. So so come back to the dot skip and then set this as um set this as current page um paginator paginator dot current page minus one times um paginator dot uh, page nice and then after the dot skip we take it we take so you skip this particular row and then you take this number of rows 
skip the number of rows and take this number of rows. So we are taking marginator dot per page. Nice. So dot to array. Let's make it look cleaner. And then shift this up. Nice. Okay. So, so our uh, API pagination should now work as expected. So let's let's just hit save and then run our code and see if it works. So actually, currently, I think there are about twelve of them here. I think there are about twelve of them. Yeah, I think they should be. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but one two three no they are not up to four five i think five or so so it's still going like this so um what we want to do is to still bring it here and then come and add uh pagination parameter so a page let's set it let's set it as Let's say per page, let's say two per page, and then current page, let's say page one. Okay, current page, let's say page one. And I'll hit send, and you can see it returned just two of them. So if I say per page three, so let me send it, and it returns three, okay. So I want to see what's in page two. Let me go to current page, page two. So because it's remaining only two, so it cannot return up to three. So let me say um, page, page, I mean, current page, I mean, per page of two and current page two. So return two and per page of five. I want it to return all the five. So if I say page, really nice, because nice, because everything, everything, yeah, it's just fine, totally. So I say page one, return all of them on page one. So that's that about pagination. If you if you if you have data inside database, also it's the same procedure. Just add your skip, create your paginator filter class, uh, create your paginator filter class, and set the rules. So on on for larger data sets, you want you might want to send your Per page should be something like 10 or 25, something like that. So that's that about this tutorial. If you like it, please if you please like, comment, share, and thank you. Cheers.